the first consumer electronics show that was going to allow microcomputers was coming up in January, and it was now late December. And Apple was going to go to consumer electronics show in Las Vegas. You know, to me, I'd never traveled outside of California hardly, except for a year in Colorado. And you know, other people like Randy, Las Vegas was was flashing neon light, the city of glamour. It was like it's like a dream. It's a myth until you've actually seen it. You really, you know, you just know it's a, it's a it is a place. It was so much of a dream. We wanted to go. We thought that a good justification for going would be build a floppy disk. Maybe we can demo it there. So we came in almost every single day of Christmas vacation of that year. And uh, I would work on some hardware, and Randy would write some software to help initialize the tracks, and we were going to put together a little demonstration program. Apple came back to work in early January and was sort of surprised. It's all here. Look, you, we almost got it all done. We almost got the last code done to where we can run programs from it. And they were a little, little bit surprised, but they said, okay. Mike Markle said, okay, let's go show it at CES in Las Vegas. So uh, we went out there, and you know, on the way walking down to the convention center, we'd always take breaks and go gambling a little. Randy was probably 16 at the time, and he actually won $35. So luck is a factor. Anyway, we went down to the convention center that night, and we were putting together one, one demonstration disc, sector by sector. We would load it in off a cassette tape and store the sectors, one sector at a time, and we had to make the disc perfect because it was so quick, we didn't really have time for a full-blown operating system yet. It was a little, it had to be perfect. We didn't finish till six in the morning, and it was demonstrable. And uh, Randy was pretty smart, and he said, well, let's make a backup. We're both so tired. And you know, one thing is, is you gotta recognize when you should make a backup, you should make a backup when you're tired, but you shouldn't let your tiredness cause you to write onto the good disc, which is what we did. Anyway, we recovered and we showed it.